Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is now busy rolling out our Windows 11 22H2 optional bug fix update for July. And we have already received the Windows 10 and Windows 11 21H2 bug fix updates for this month, which I did post on yesterday. And now it's version 22H2's turn. Now optional updates, as the name implies, are optional, so you do not have to install the updates. And I always suggest only install optional updates that roll out near the end of every month if you are experiencing any issues with your operating system. I'll just ignore the update because it will be carried over into the Compulsory Patch Tuesday update for next month in August 2023. Now the update is KB5028254 and this is exactly the same update I posted on about two weeks ago when it was in the release preview channel and has now made its way into the stable version. Now moment three has come and gone and as I have been posting Microsoft over a month or so was pushing out the moment three feature update and now we can expect these updates, these bug fix updates to stabilize now. Um, into the so-called normal bug fix updates that we would get near the end of every month now that moment three has finally been become a compulsory mandatory update now there are four key fixes that have rolled out and um, that microsoft does highlight from the release notes and uh, the first is if we just head over to our system the first of four key fixes and we head to our display and brightness Microsoft says that this update makes brightness settings more accurate. So we can expect to see some uh, more accuracy with the brightness in Windows 11 22H2 according to Microsoft. And something else the update also does is that it addresses an issue that affects certain display and audio devices. Apparently they were missing after um, user systems resumed from sleep and that also rolled out across the board for Windows 10 and the original release of Windows 11. And there's a widget fix. Apparently, uh, the update addresses an issue that affects widgets. They were unpinning from the taskbar when you do not expect it. So that's a bit of a bug fix that's rolled out for widgets. And the same as rolled out for Windows 11, the original release, the update addresses an issue that affects virtual private networks. So that's your VPN. Apparently, according to Microsoft, there might be excessive address resolution protocol ARP requests to the network gateway and this was occurring when the VPN is on a wireless mesh network that uses an aggressive throttling algorithm because of this network performance is poor. So that's a bit of a performance fix that's rolled out for um, Windows 11 22H2 if you are using a VPN. Now because this is a non-security bug fix update it does include some other quality improvements and we actually get one new feature which rolled out to um, Windows 11 21H2 as well. And it's under the hood, but nonetheless, it's not a front-facing feature, but just to mention it, this update affects the handwriting software input panel, the handwriting engine, and the handwriting embedded inking control. They now support GB18030-2022, and they now meet the level 3 requirements, where previously they only met the level 2 requirements. So that's under the hood, a new feature that has been made available. And then the notification platform has received a fix um, where it addresses an issue in the Windows notification platform and the issue affects how much power your device uses. So that's another performance fix for Windows 11 22H2. And between the last bug fix update for uh, June and now this update rolling out, Microsoft has been focusing a little bit on performance for Windows 11 22H2 and I have seen some uh, comments on the channel that for some users their operating systems with version 22H2 have become a little bit more snappier. So um, obviously Microsoft focusing now on performance for Windows 11 22H2 and here's another performance fix. The update addresses an issue that affects certain CPUs. Apparently there was inconsistent reporting of the level 2 cache so that's a bit of a performance boost as well. And there's two printer fixes. Um, it affects user mode printer drivers. That's the first fix that they unload unexpectedly. This was occurring when you print from multiple print queues on the same printer driver. And then the second one was regarding a printing job where there was an unexpected internet printing protocol mode switch um, that could cause the print job to abruptly stop. So those are two printing fixes that have also rolled out now to Windows 11 22H2. And another fix um, that rolled out for the original re release of Windows 11 
The update addresses an issue that affects the Defender firewall profile. Apparently, it failed to automatically switch from a LAN that is trusted to a public network. And then moving on to another fix that's rolled out, a couple more left to go. Uh, it also addresses a deadlock and also a stop error. And those are both blue screen of death issues. So when we are dealing with deadlocks and stop errors, which are blue screens of death, always good to double check maybe that you do install this update if you have been experiencing any issues because it is addressing, as mentioned, a deadlock and a stop error, which are two important fixes that have rolled out. And heading back for our last um, fix just to mention for today's video, in the Windows Security app, um, Microsoft says that the update affects the Windows kernel vulnerable driver block list, and there's a fix that's rolled out for that. Apparently, it was adding drivers that are at risk, and that's been addressed now. So Microsoft vulnerable driver block list has also received a bug fix, and that's just a couple I've pulled out of the release notes, um, which I think and thought you may be more interested in. And as mentioned, we get one minor new feature, and then obviously some key bug fixes that have rolled out that Microsoft, as mentioned, did highlight from those release notes. And um, if you do decide to install the updates, if we just head over to Winver, which will give us our About Windows menu, uh, Windows 11 version 22H2, the OS build, OS build moved up to 2261.2070, which is now the latest stable version and the latest stable build. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.